all right guys welcome back to the channel got another little uh welding project for you this is the second time i've welded uh figured i'd do something that wasn't structural and you know didn't need uh to know for sure that all the welds were 100 percent strong and done right so i did a bandsaw table for my portable bandsaw uh you know working with a couple of different thicknesses of metal and stuff just wanted to try to get my hands dirty a little bit get a little experience use up a couple of small pieces of scrap uh, it was fun it was a learning experience uh, i want you all to uh kind of check things out if you see anything that you know you can tell that i need to pay more attention to or or you know mistakes that i've made or whatever you think you got some pointers for me let me know down in the comments because i am struggling to learn uh, i don't get very often to practice on things like this sometimes it's a month or two later before i can even get back to it and i feel like i've kind of forgot everything i learned the first time well anyway check it out all right guys welding project number two is this uh portable bandsaw table i uh watched a few youtube videos and got different ideas and kind of pieced some things together and made my own as you can see i angled the legs i don't know 12 15 degrees or so uh, to give it a little more stability while i'm pushing something through uh, the top let's see so the top is oh, about 17 and 3 8 by well a foot um, so this is a this is just a win but you know the same principle will work with Milwaukee or, or Harbor Freight Bauer or, or whatever you wanted to buy um, I made it tall enough so that when it's mounted to it the, the cord is what kind of hangs down the lowest right there you gotta have a little room for that so I made sure to make it tall enough so that once it was mounted, that wasn't in a bind. Um, so let's discuss this little thing right here. It took a little thinking and a little creativity. Um, these two holes are the holes that, that held the black plate that normally comes on the saw. Uh, I wanted something that I could mount on here uh, and then take off fairly easy without having to deal with the little things that, that hold those in place so that if I still needed the, the portability of the saw I'd be able to just you know take these three out take it out and uh, use it you know wherever and then when I needed something a little more stable to use it as more of you know more in this kind of uh, situation I would uh, I could easily mount it up and it's you know good to go and it, up under here you can see I just got a couple of pieces of metal welded uh, to the bottom so that the metal could just sit on it and I could drive a screw through it uh, same for back there so that's the only thing that's kind of holding it in but so far it's uh it's turned out to work pretty good i'm gonna give you some of my looks on my wells here and i've already ground them some uh, trying to you know get rid of the ugly but uh those are one inch uh tube i believe are though yeah and that's three quarter inch tube here those are one inch tube there uh, just to give it some stability and uh, later on, I might put little feet on here on the bottom of these legs uh, and drill a hole uh, so that it lines up. I don't know, you said a fabrication table over there so that I can mount it on top of that, you know, just and have little little pegs that go through and just kind of hold it in place like a little shoulder bolt or something. Uh, that way, you know, when I got a project with something heavy on it, I can put it up there, kind of lock it into place. I don't think it turned out too bad for my second welding project. The table you see it on I've got a video about that that's uh, my third welding project um, but yeah check out the link in the description or, or subscribe to the channel and you can find that video on the table right there as well just trying to make some things in the shop make some things a little easier guys check it out if you like it subscribe hang around there'll be more coming